So this one's pretty much done. It'll be like that when it's on YouTube. I definitely got a lot of new tools today. Hi guys. Janice and I are up, the boys are sleeping, and I'm just getting my feeds ready. I, last night I was actually pretty like mad that I had to go to the ER, but now that I have some perspective, I'm actually glad I went, because I would be so worried all day about my port. But since the ER doctor told me, I mean, it's being finicky, but you know, just talk to your, like my doctor, my personal doctor about it, and get it looked at and it should be fine. I'm feeling much better. Um, it is still being weird today with the blood return, but it's usable. And today we are doing some exciting things. I'm getting my AFOs and joint braces at one, but we're also spoiling Paul because he's been fabulous and his birthday was yesterday and we didn't really get to celebrate, but the plan was to celebrate today anyway. So I am making him a special meal he requested. He requested my chicken fried rice, so that's cooking in the slow cooker. And then Janice and I are going to try and get him a cake, right? That is going to be an adventure. We're going to do it. A surprise cake. And Judd's going to take him to the range so they can do that. And then we're just going to... I don't know. Have, um, the boys are going to play video games tonight probably. And that's kind of like an ideal day for Paul. Yeah, he's a very simple guy. Yeah, so it's going to be a fun day for Paul. And we're just going to hang out and... That's what we're gonna do. Priming, playing, oh, destructing the furniture. <laughs> Take them out, Orion. Happy dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she always throws herself on the floor like that. Orion always throws oh gosh, floor. all right. What are you doing? I didn't pay attention, it's on my slippers and on the couch. <laughs> Whoops. to get some of my PT exercises in. I can't always do as much as I want and my POTS has been a bit worse than usual, so. But I did it. I kind of feel lightheaded and out of breath right now. Harlow is here. One positive note is Harlow was not on top of me during my exercises because she was bugging Orion. <laughs> Man. Not feeling great after my exercises, but I did them because they are good for your body. All right, we are off to Hanger Clinic mm -hmm. to get my AFOs and joint braces. If you want to catch up on the process to go get these things, check out my pain management playlist. And I talked to my doctor. He's going to send a script to my home health company for Cathflow, which is a thrombolytic agent for central lines that help with occlusions. So it should help me get good but what is it? Blood return. I was like blood flow, not blood flow. Blood return. And I will need a nurse to administer that, but I have IVIG on Tuesday and a nurse is coming to do that for me. So hopefully I will get all of this done on Tuesday. Getting the cath flow isn't like a, an emergency thing because like I said, my line is usable. It is flushing well. There's no pain with it. It's just sometimes I'm not getting uh, blood return well. So that's why we're okay waiting until Tuesday when we already have nursing arranged and I think the cath flow is exactly what I need. So I have something called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It's a connective tissue disorder. And among many symptoms it causes, it causes joint instability. And I deal with joint subluxions, which are partial, partial dislocations and full joint dislocations. So my rheumatologist ordered several joint braces. And the joint braces I am not going to wear all the time because then my muscles could atrophy and make things worse, but in times where my joint pain is 
worse than usual or I've just dealt with a subluxion or joint dislocation, I will wear them to help with the recovery from that injury. So it's about finding a balance of when the right time to wear them is. And the AFOs are ankle foot orthosis because of neuropathy from my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I have something called partial foot drop. So when you walk, your foot is supposed to go up like this. Mine doesn't, it drops, which causes me to fall and trip a lot. So the AFOs will help have my foot up how it's supposed to and prevent falls. It'll also help with my ankle instability where my ankles give out a lot when I'm walking and it'll prevent my knees from hyperextending when I'm standing and walking. And those will actually be something I wear all the time because it will prevent my very frequent falling. So I'm really looking forward to these tools that are gonna help me live a better and safer life. Oh no, y'all remember I made brownies for the people, at, you were at work. I made brownies for the people at Hanger Clinic because they've been so helpful and amazing. And Paul just sent me a photo like, you forgot the brownies. And then he sent a follow-up text saying, more for us. <laughs> uh, I would say it's the thought that counts, but I don't know if I can tell them. Hey, I made you all brownies, but I forgot them. So we're gonna eat them. Oh well. I'm just gonna tell them thank you very much because they've been awesome. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Like oh, they're pink? Oh, they're sighing. Okay. I love the color. <laughs> Just a little tight on the ankle. Give a little bit of space, so it gives you a little bit of room to shift without okay. creating any skin issues, okay? And I'm going to leave this longer than what I'm marking. I'm just going to mark where your foot is. When you stand up, of course, it's going to splay a little bit. Okay. okay. Perfect. And Leg number two. Get it ready. Push it back, okay? This is a little tighter than I want it to be. Yeah, I can feel on the ankle. It's a little small. Yeah, it's that. That one was a little tight. But this one's a little tighter. And actually, it's a little too tight up here as well. I don't like how it's digging in. It's probably because it's too tight to squeeze in there. So we're going to have to open it up just a little bit. Okay, we're going to slide your right out. Oh my. So give me a couple minutes, I'm gonna work on these two first. Okay. So those were the AFOs and those were made specifically for my legs. If you wanna see the whole casting process, check out this vlog and I did forget my mask, but that's okay. I love the color and there is a padding on the inside to prevent like skin irritation and he is now going to make some adjustments so they're not too tight and they fit perfectly. Marlo's being good. We talked about shoes and I'm probably going to need to go shoe shopping and buy a size up or half a size up and look for shoes that are wider to accommodate the AFOs. Oh, that feels a lot better. It was a little too snug before. Yeah, it was actually squeezing you like this. This is yeah. like, yeah, this is definitely. And I felt it on my ankles. Yeah. So I've opened up both ankles. I've actually did a little trimming on the toes. Now, we can always trim more off. I don't want to trim too much until we have the shoes that you're going to be using with these, okay? Okay. And then we'll trim more and shape that. Can I have different pairs of shoes? Because I like, yeah. I mean, I only really wear two different kinds right now, but... No, you can actually, the best type of shoe, uh, shoe is something that's stable. You don't want to buy a shoe that has a tendency to rock on by itself, because that's just going to give you more stability. You want to have a shoe that's got a little more flat base, a little bit harder sole, and give you a little more control. Mm -hmm. But one thing you want to do is, if you have a shoe that has an inner sole, that actually, that like these... Better. Hat don't come out. You want something, something that helps come out. It creates more room in the shoe for you as well, okay. which makes this way it doesn't feel like it's like a vice all the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. One little more modification to this one, and these should be ready at that point. Okay. So I'll be right back. So this one's pretty much done. This hinge here helps me to not hyperextend my knee. And he said, do not walk on these by themselves because the plastic is slick and I can slip. Um, so we definitely need to find shoes. These will work. Perfect. There we go. All right. Thank you. Certainly. So number one, now we get to do the other stuff. The braces. So this keeps the knee cap in place and there's no difference between right or left. It's just where the... Yes, exactly. Okay. okay. So majority of the kneecaps have since you dislocate out. So yeah. the majority of the time it's always going to be on the outside of the knee. Okay. okay. And this has a little elastic to it, so it'll, give, it'll have a little gift. It'll probably stretch a little bit over time, and that's okay. okay. The key is that we're just controlling that kneecap so it doesn't have any place to shift. Okay? Okay. All right. Well, believe it or not, that's those. 
So I can just leave that. You can leave that closed at all times. And the only time you want to change that is for any reason you're getting you some swollen in your thumb or something like that when you need to. But you should leave that one closed at all times. Okay. It makes it a lot easier for you. Um, this just stabilizes my thumb. Yep, it just, it's a, basically it's a counter force. Because if we just strap on your thumb, you're going to do this, and this is just going to move around. It's basically going to have to do this position okay. the thumb. Perfect. Okay. And on the left side. Uh, yep, how are we doing? Side number two. Prevent you from bending your wrist around. Yeah. Okay. That feels like a good position, honestly. Okay. And like you said, and later on, if for any reason the doctor wants to change, is it's something that we can change this, this type of plastic, we can actually keep and re to a certain point. Okay. My but, hair doesn't like go up. Up, okay. It, I can try, but every time I try, it just doesn't do it. Okay, and the reason why, because this is going to fit like this on your back. And you okay. can see how high it goes up on the back of your head. Yeah. So indirectly, that's going to be like that when it's on you too. Okay. Your nice long hair, which is beautiful, now fall is always going to want to try to get inside the Velcro when it's hanging down. So be careful on that situation. This feels really nice. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the key is going to be, you know, you're probably going to need assistance putting it on and off. It's going to, the back piece actually overlaps the front piece a little bit, okay? Try to try it. I would say it's going to be a lot easier to do in front of a mirror, but let's go give her a try. Um, okay. My rheumatologist wanted me to really do this in the car. Okay, for car use? Because long road trips really, really make my neck pain way worse. Okay. And the good thing is, that if you're, do you sit in the back or the front? The passenger front seat, so Perfect. we have the, the mirror. mirror on the, uh, okay, that's, that's fine. How is that? For not even being able to see it, you're doing great. Okay. <laughs> when you see it, it makes it even easier. It's just not irritating my port at all, which is nice. But, and it's just missing. And if we had to, we could always modify. Oh, okay. that's nice. So, okay. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> that went well. What do you think, babe? I think it went pretty cool. Yeah. I look interesting. Mm. As long as it helps. Another tool to aid. You are correct. I got my... AFOs, my knee braces, my wrist braces, my thumb splints, my neck brace. I was supposed to get my hip braces, but I started to really just fade and not feel well, so we decided I would come back at a later time for that. And I'm very proud because Harlow did well. And since I'm going back at a later time, I will successfully make them brownies and not forget them. <laughs> Ready to go home and you're gonna go celebrate Paul's birthday with him? Yeah. Sounds good. I definitely got a lot of new tools today. And Janice was asking me, why isn't everything pink? Well, mm -hmm. Janice, not everything comes in pink. <laughs> and again, I just want to quickly mention the braces for my joints are not something I'm gonna be wearing all the time. I need to find the right balance for me personally and when to wear them and when not to wear them. The AFOs are something I will be wearing as often as possible once I find the correct shoes to wear with them. And you know, everyone's treatment plan is different. Some people with EDS wear braces 100% of the time. Some people don't use braces at all. It's all about finding what personally works best for you and your battle with chronic illness. Really, Harlow? Really, Orion? Even got slobber on the very tippy top of your head there. You just got a bath. <laughs> that ear, that ear shape. I know, her ears. That's all right, as long as y'all are having fun. She's got like this smile on. <laughs> Jackie's making Paul's birthday dinner. He wanted the fried rice. So that's what he's getting. We just recently had this, but it's so good. Can I sit down? I don't have a recipe to share because I kind of just throw everything together, but it tastes good. Yes. Okay. The boys are out grabbing Paul's cake. Janice and I were going to go do it, but we, there was no way either of us were driving a car today. Nope. But it's still going to be fun. Yes. I think it's better if he picks his own cake. Yeah. Well, the guys are back and they got a cake. It's so yummy. And Best Girl Scouts. Of year. Okay, yes. Janice and I like the thanks a lot, but they didn't have any. However, I'm kind of excited for these. Yes, Girl Scout cookies. And we got that. Uh, and there's enough for the dogs. Jack is taking off her hat. Janice is taking off her hat. 
Paul and I are the only ones who have our hats on. I don't like how it feels. I need to try this. Fried rice is pretty good. We got some Publix sushi that three of us are splitting. Good stuff, good stuff. Jack is already digging into dessert, which is I s'mores had, Girl Scout. Okay, I'm, a, I'm, I'm big on s'mores. I didn't know I have s'mores cookies. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. This might almost be as good as... Okay, it might be better than the things a lot. Oh, well, good. They don't make things a lot anymore. What? They don't make it anymore? I thought that I told you that. Yeah, I did you said that. they didn't have that. Huh. They don't make them anymore. I said they did. We need to go back to our Publix and just stock them. Oh my gosh. We need to. Yeah, they said that. I don't those. know if I'm okay with they that. They said I'm not okay <laughs> Oh my gosh. But these are pretty good. Well, the guys are playing video games downstairs. Janice and I are up here. We're going to chill, watch some movies. The cake they got for Paul is kind of frozen. I guess it was in a fridge or something at Publix, so maybe we'll eat some later, but my pots, like I've been saying, has been a bit worse than usual lately, so I'm going to run a liter of fluids overnight. I'm going to flush with saline, but let's see if I get blood return. Not really, nope. Nope, that's okay. Um, I talked to my home health company, and I should be all set to get the cath flow on. Tuesday, but since it is flushing well, I am still good to use it, but um Ready for some girl time. You give me a heart attack with that thing. What? I don't know I'm Like is she gonna die? <laughs> it's fine It's fine <coughs> I care about her. I care about you concerned with your cough, but we care about each other <sighs> Anyways, good day, you know with Paul's birthday and hanging out with our loved ones and my Good appointment at hanger clinic and anyways ready for girl time yes all right that's what we're gonna do so without say good night and thanks for joining us on our adventure don't shake her so much <laughs> you like she's gonna get brain damage yeah. <laughs>